I did promise God, I said, it, when I get the house the way I want it, I'm going to have a Bible study in this living room. And I'm going to do that. And that's one thing I can do now because I got a new house. I'm so excited about it. I really am. Uh, my relationship with Habitat was long coming. I heard about the program uh, Repair with Kindness and I called and I told them I needed help and they said well we're working with the veterans right now we'll call you later. I started calling once or twice a month. Two and a half years later I got a call back and they said we're ready to help you now. Ah! <laughs> I just screamed because it was my turn to have help and I needed it so desperately. Before then I had gone, I had gotten disabled and sick and fell into depression. So when Habitat came, it took me almost an hour before I let her in the house because I became a hoarder and I had so much stuff. I had a shop uh, in College Park and I lost it. And I just stuffed stuff in. And then when I got sick, I just stuffed more stuff in. And I hadn't had anybody in my home for over 12 to 15 years. And I had mold. I had mold in the kitchen. Panels started falling uh, in the den. And in my bathroom, I had a huge hole in the ceiling. I could look up and see the see the sky. Miss Irene said, what I want you to do first, you got to do sweat equity, right? And I said, okay. And she said, but you have enough in here <laughs> to do all your 40 hours of sweat equity. So she said, get little sticky notes and put keep, keep, keep on what you want to keep. I tried. I got through half of one room First of all, I got all my sewing machines. I got seven because I need. I, that's, that's what I do, and I had to put one on those. And then my material and my yarn and my crafting stuff. Keep, 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 keep. And then I boxed all that up, pretty much. And then she says, "Well, don't worry about the rest." And I said, "But it's my stuff. I had over a thousand VHS tapes, books." clothes and never threw away anything, kept bringing stuff in, but never throwing anything away. It took Habitat seven 1-800-GOT-JUNK trucks to clean out my house. Seven. And when they did, it was amazing. They just, they oh, they did so much. They took out all the molds. They replaced all the pan, they did the whole ceiling and the den is redone, and I just gotta paint it now. And the bathroom, I don't have a hole. A cat got in my house one day, <laughs> and I heard, meow, and my cat was sitting by me. I said, ooh, did you hear that? <laughs> I looked up and I saw these eyes looking down from me, looking down at me from the hole in my, in my bathroom. Outside, the out, it, ooh, I had this magnolia tree, it covered the, front of my house and over the driveway. You can even see my house from the street. They cut that tree back 10 feet from the house, 10 feet from the street. That in itself was amazing because you could see my house now, you know? You couldn't before. And then they came and they said, we're gonna paint it, you choose your colors. And I was like, okay, all right. They said, we, we can pressure wash it. So they did that and they painted the bottom, you know? So it, it looks new, it looks new to me. <laughs> My neighbor, their magnolia tree, they cut it down completely, you know? And now the, the neighbor on the right side, so they started cleaning up. Habitat changed my life, they changed my surroundings. They made the people around me want to do better. And I think that's great. I am getting out of the house. I, I teach now. So I'm hired and I'm working 15 hours and doing what I love to do, everything my mom taught me.